Josh, welcome. Let's talk about millennials and millennials, the way that they're spending. What categories are they spending their money on and how does it, this differ from other demographics? Right. So, so we went into the research really trying to understand the behavior of specifically affluent millennials um, and, you know, and look at how the spending patterns are different from the older generations, Gen X and, and Boomer. We didn't really look as much at Gen Z as they don't really have the wealth yet. We saw that millennials both due to the you know, sort of generational wealth transfer, the inheritance, as well as entrepreneurship, really were this category that we're spending. And, and for us, that was the important understanding. Um, obviously, luxury is, is up um, you know, and will continue to go up. So where we thought, you know, we had some anecdotal ideas like, oh, experiences, you know, Instagram, hey, I want to post here, I'm here in Cannes, um, where, where they were spending their money. We saw, well, that's not necessarily the case. They love the brands. They love sort of the high-end jewelry. Um, so we saw that and we see that predictions that they're predicting that they'll spend more in the next 12 months in those luxury categories versus Gen X and Boomer will start to decrease. What about the way that millennials perceive themselves and I guess their wealth? How's that changed? What are the factors that are involved there? You know, again, I think that this is a generation that grew up on social media um, that grew up with Instagram and posting with a very sort of outward and how they you know, are seeing perceived value. Um, so I think that they're willing, they want to wear the nice things, they want the, the brands. But the interesting thing for me was they don't want the trade-offs. They don't want trade-offs with things like core values of brands and sustainability, right? So millennials want, you know, they want to work for companies. They want to buy from companies that have values and purpose. Um, but they still want the same quality. They still want everything else. So I think they're a generation that, that you know, grew up in this digital world. They're using technology. They like technology for exploration of brands, but they still want to walk into a physical retail with the, the research show and they still like to touch and feel. They want to walk in and, and see the tangible items. They're not buying it online and shipping. Why do you think there's been a shift in the way that millennials are engaging with philanthropic activities? The interesting thing is as we see older generations more willing to just write checks uh, for, you know, donations. I was just with a couple nonprofits today and they're trying to understand how are millennials perceiving value of their philanthropic giving. Um, so, you know, millennials want to use their philanthropic organizations as opportunities to network. And so they're leveraging it for other reasons other than just writing a check. So while we're seeing that possibly just giving the financial contribution may be going down, they want to engage, they want to sit on boards, but they want to use it for network development. They want to use it. So I think the the trend with philanthropy as we get older, we're willing just to support. There's also a healthy skepticism of is the money really going to the bottom line? Is it helping the cause? Maybe I can give my time and it's a little better than just writing the check. Josh, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.